All right, you guys, so let's get started on the workout. It was a full lower body and booty workout. So personally, what I like to do at the beginning is really activate the muscles we're gonna be working that day. So they're fired up, my heart rate's up, and I'm just ready to go. So I was starting off with some hip thrusts here on this little uh, box jump with no additional weight, just all body weight, really focusing on squeezing at the very top every time my butt came up. And on the very last rep, I held for about 20 seconds. I'm gonna show you guys in this workout what I do to kind of target the under butt and really lift your butt and kind of eliminate um, cellulite. I do wanna mention I'm very well aware that getting rid of cellulite means you must drop your body fat percentage. I've known people who've lost maybe 40, 50 pounds and they had a ton of cellulite and most of it diminished when they got really healthy. Um, so for me personally, as you can see when I squeeze my butt here at the top of these squats, I definitely do have cellulite. I'm trying, a lot of people in my family have it, I'm just trying to, as I lean down, also eliminate that. So I thought this would be helpful for you guys. I was just doing some regular squats and sumo squats there to warm up, about two sets, then I did some jumping jacks. Main exercise I really wanted to do today was these hip thrusts, so I'm using the 45 pound squat bar with another 10 pound on each side. I'm focusing on going all the way down, keeping my back pretty uh, straight and just like really focusing on squeezing the glutes super hard every time I come up. Let me tell you, these are super tough. So many props to all the girls I see on Instagram doing hip thrusts with like 200 pounds and stuff. It's insane. Usually I'll just use like a 30 to 40 pound straight barbell, but I wanted to push myself, <laughs> you can see here on my rest, I was like dying. I wanted to push myself to do a little bit of a higher weight, so I took the squat rack bar with those two other 10s. This is a total of 65 pounds, which is still like not super heavy, but you guys, my glutes were killing, and the next day I was totally feeling it. So definitely give this a try. It's a really, really good lower body and booty workout, and it really, really will burn. So I did three sets of 12 on that. Then I went ahead and moved on to some regular kickbacks here, which you guys have seen me do a million times. I feel like this really helps to lift up the butt muscles and just kind of make your butt look a little bit lifted in general. Um, I've also done these weighted, which I've seen a really big difference in my butt. You know, I still don't have like a model booty or anything, but I'm getting there from how flat my butt used to be. I've definitely seen a change. So here I'm just doing a little hit circuit. I was doing some squat jumps, two sets of this, and then we're back to the jumping jacks. Just trying to get my heart rate up and really, really get sweaty. Um, so yeah, at this point I remember I was like dying. Then I moved on to some side to side jumps on this little bench here. And I only showed you guys a set or two of everything, but I did three sets of each exercise. 